we know that individuals' DNA sequences differ. But if we want to find those differences, we need to be able to separate and analyze fragments or pieces of DNA. The next several videos discuss the most important and commonly used methods for doing so. And perhaps one of the most important is actually a method for precisely and reproducibly creating fragments of DNA using a set of enzymes called restriction endonucleases or more commonly restriction enzymes. And you can think of restriction enzymes as a molecular scissors that cut DNA at, specific, at a specific sequence of bases. And there are hundreds of these enzymes that have been found and that cut at different sequences of DNA. And so, for example, the enzyme ECOR1 was discovered in E. coli, hence the name ECO. And ECOR1 cuts at this sequence, right? I'm sorry, it recognizes the sequence G A A T T C on one strand. And of course, here is the um, other strand base sequence. Do note that the top strand and the bottom strand are the reverse and the complement of each other. So we call this a palindromic sequence, right? G-A-A-T-T-C, G-A-A-T-T-C. It's also important to note that while some enzymes will recognize a sequence and shunk cut right down the center of it, many of them, including ECOR1, cut asymmetrically. And so ECOR1, for example, cuts the top strand there and the bottom strand there. And what it results in is, right, so remember these um, DNA molecules continue off into the distance. And so one side of this cut looks like this, T -T -A, and the other side of the cut looks like this. And notice that both sides, oh goodness, I missed an A there. Notice that both of these loose ends have this little four base overhang, right? This little single stranded sequence here. Restriction enzymes are incredibly useful tools for molecular biology, not just for genetics, but for genetic engineering and all sorts of other common laboratory, um, uh, laboratory protocols. And we'll be encountering a number of uses for restriction enzymes over the course of the semester. But for now, their most important property is that they reliably and reproducibly take long DNA recognize these sequences and cut it into fragments. And next, we'll see how that property is useful for beginning to characterize that DNA.